This is incredible. What up, Heart Squad? Today, I have a large booster pack of Pokemon cards. But what's on the inside? I don't even know exactly because I haven't even opened one of these up. But these were apparently from GameStop this past weekend. They had a trade and play Pokemon card event. And I had lots of people in the Heart Squad that went to the event. Even though it was relatively like unknown. But they gave out these for free. And it is a trade and play day kit. I will be opening it up in this video, along with several other booster packs that you are gonna love. Not only do we have this big old booster pack, but we got some Celestial Storm packs, we got some Lost Thunder packs, and the Coup de Gras once again. We have GX Ultra Shiny, but not one pack, not two pack three packs that I'll be opening up today. So you are getting lots of variety with today's video. I'm actually, I put this video together the same day I am posting it and I moved my originally scheduled video to Wednesday. So if you can, I please humbly ask for your support and just leaving a nice little old thumbs up and like on this video. Let us try to reach 2000 likes and I appreciate the support hard squad. So this, Probably isn't going to be as exciting as I think. If you take a look at the back, it says each trade and play day kit includes one activity sheet, one three card mini pack. So that is what we are going to be looking at to see if it is an actual demo pack, Dollar Tree pack, or some type of promo pack that GameStop put together. One Pokemon coin and one trading guide. Well, listen, I kind of honestly just want to leave it how it is like this. This is interesting enough. This is gorgeous just to have this on a mantle because it looks and feels like a real booster pack. But alas, this is an opening channel and I shall be opening this up today. This, this is free. You can go to GameStop right now and hopefully your local GameStop still has these because this took a while for me to find just to go get one of these. So, oh, all right. So that kind of answers that question. The pack that you get is a team up pack, which is kind of like the theme of my channel right now. Uh, this past weekend's video, I went to t uh, Dollar Tree and I purchased an entire box of these guys. And uh, that was my originally scheduled video for today was opening up a bunch of those. So I'll open those, but let's continue looking on what's on the inside of this thing to see if it's worth it for y'all to actually go and try to find these. So a guide to trading cards. Welcome trainer. Here are some things to watch for when you trade cards. Rarity, and it actually says common, black dot, uncommon, rare, and then it's special. It is shiny. That's all you need to know. If it's special, it's shiny. And then, of course, it has GX, EX, and Pokemon break cards, full art cards, which, to be completely honest, I think this is excellent to get more people playing the Pokemon card game. What's better than having a little cardboard sheet that explains everything? Because I do get lots of people new to the game wanting to know more about the cards itself. So I love this. This is great. All right. So we got a little trading card breakdown card. What else? We got the activity sheet over here. This says trade and play day kit activity sheet. First partner Pokemon. All right, we got a little game for everybody. Let's start at the start. Can you identify these first pro? Oh, gosh. If anybody gets this wrong, the door is that way. So we got Squirtle, Charmander, and Ditto. I think, I think we got them all right. How'd y'all do? Oh, there's no answers. Or are they at the bottom? <gasps> there's the answer. So you got the answers right there. So hopefully none of y'all got that wrong, but that's pretty cool. I think it's neat. This was free, so you really can't complain anyway. So let's open up some packs. Oh my gosh. Hold the press. There is a roulette coin. Oh my goodness. How did I forget about the coin? Probably because I don't really care that much about a coin, but it is still very nice that it does include a coin. So there we go. 
you get a coin, but we got more important things to do than bask at how shiny and love a coin, which is very nice in its own right. So let's start off with this Team Up Dollar Tree pack that came with the actual trade and play day kits. This will go very fast unless we get an Erica's Hospitality, which somebody did pull from one of these packs. Marit, Phariseed, Kangaskhan. Okay. And that's just a little random code card, or not even a code card, so. All right, uh, shall we get into these packs? Celestial Storm. And yeah, like I said, the trade and play day was at several game stops across the country. Not every single one did host it. That's the thing. Lightning. No wow. Okay, we're up to a great start. Guess the energy game. Um, so I would suggest calling up your local GameStop. And apparently it was also at Best Buy. However, my whole Metroplex for Best Buy, they did not host the events, unfortunately. So maybe your city did. Call your Best Buy, call your GameStop, tell them Leanheart sent you, get me in trouble, I'd appreciate it. Shoop, there it is. Sneasel, Mudkip. Secret Rare Pull, baby! Yes! How about that? First time pulling this card. Life Herb from Resident Evil 2. That is gorgeous. Excuse me while I fumble around for some sleeves. Now it's becoming like patented that I forget the sleeves. That's a great way to start this opening. Life Herb, secret rare card, so. We got a nice little pile, so I'll go with some Lost Thunder, and then we'll get into our first shiny Pokemon pack, because honestly, those have been sitting around, and I have been saving them to open. All right, four cards, Leaf Energy. Well, we did at least get the first get. That first pack was a doozy. Guess the energy game right. Secret rare pull. You can't get better than that. Trico, pick a pack. Oh, a reverse rare, not bad, and Bear Tick non-holographic rare i actually didn't get a chance to go to the event because i was busy this weekend so i appreciate all the uh, heart squad members that did tell me about the draft and play kit all right so shiny 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 pokemon let's go if you say it enough times it will happen just like the time i pulled that golden pokemon card after mentioning it twenty thousand times in the beginning part of the video please I'm gonna recycle that. All right, so this is Japanese cards, of course, but they are still gorgeous. And yes, we are still searching for that. I was gonna say hyper rare Charizard. <laughs> Excuse me, shiny Charizard. All right, fiery flint. Cartana, na na na. Space! You gotta yell out space when you pull the ultra space card. Froakie, Slug, Magneton, Zekrom, Holographic. Dustmane, Necrozma, Lycanroc G. I feel like I pull Buzzwall GX and Lycanroc GX in almost every single pack of these. And a Shattered Foil, Donwings, Necrozma. That is gorgeous. All right. So uh, I will take it just for the Shattered Foil card. That was a nice pack. All right. Celestial Storm, Lost Thunder, and then we'll do another GX Ultra Shiny pack. Like I said, my name is Leonhardt. I post videos Mondays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. So don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. I was going to do a bell with my hand, but it just got awkward real fast. Did I do the four cards? I just... Fairy? Okay, at least I did. But yeah, I'd appreciate it, especially if you forget. 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. Onyx, Bagon, Bellsprout, Fanfi, Clampearl, Lotad, and a Deoxys Aurora Borealis style. All right, is that in focus? Let me make sure. All right, there we go. Very cool looking card. It's actually one of the more common ones that I pull, but it's still very nice. Next, GX Ultra Shiny Pack. And I will be opening up more boxes of this in the near future. Just gotta space it out because the boxes are worth around $100. Let's see what we can do. And they only come with 10 booster packs each, so it goes by kind of fast. But it is fun at the same time. All right. I think we got a Beast Ring. Mimikyu. Rescue Stretcher. An Alolan Vulpix. Breaks in. 
Luke Skywalker Diglett. Zerkatry Ultra Beast Hollow. Blaziken Holographic. Stack and Stack GX. We also, I always have pulled this one like a ton. Oh, it's a Gibble! It's so cute! Shattered Foil. So, once again, no shiny, but we still do have an entire other pack to open up. Did I skip Lost Thunder? Or did I just bring out uneven packs? I probably did. That's what I've been trying to do is open up a lot of my excess packs and stuff recently. Water. Because I am moving, as I've told you on my other social media accounts and uh, new studio. So I'm trying to get rid of some of my excess Pokemon card product, but it's making it a lot of fun like this. Oh, I thought that was a reverse rare. It's just an uncommon, but still cool. And a Rabombi. Just so there's not as much stuff to actually take. So I'm going to go through some Celestial Storm, another Lost Thunder, and then I'll get into that last GX Ultra Shiny pack. Celestial Storm. We want to pull the Hyper Rare Rayquaza. Let's see what we can do. Fire Energy. Water Energy. I still have yet to pull the Hyper Rare Rayquaza card. Still, I think it's worth around like $35, give or take. Voltorb. Jirachi Prism Star. Reminds me of the Jirachi holographic card for Team Up that's going for around $30 right now. It's pretty expensive. And Delcaddy Holographic. So a perfect Pokemon card pack. The Prism Star and a Hollow. But don't forget, guys, start this all off with this gorgeous secret rare. So very happy about the pull so far. We'll go with this Lugia Lost Thunder. Full Art Lugia. Primarily want the Alolan Ninetales Hyper Rare or Full Art. For this set, I'll say Psychic. Fighting Energy. I always forget to say Fighting Energy. Grovile. Adventure Bag. A Zatu. There's also Natus in this set, so maybe we get a little Natu. How do you do? Yamask, Ralts, and... Okay, so the bird is the word. Non-holographic there. But it is time for the last shiny pack. There he is. Come on, Charizard. Rub the Charizard belly for good luck. Not going to happen, but if it does happen, oh boy. Here we go, shiny Pokemon saying it a thousand times again. It'll happen. All right. Sudowoodoo. Dana. A something ring. Sableye. Snover. Heatmore. This is incredible. We just pulled one of the most expensive cards from the set for the third time in the past month. Cynthia, full art trainer supporter card going for $60 approximately. That is a pull if I do say so myself. That makes this entire opening and then some. Three times I have pulled this card and I have yet to pull a shiny Charizard. This is it, but it, this, it wouldn't be Leonhardt if it would be easy to get the shiny Charizard so, or a Charizard in general. Wow. Full Art Trainer Cynthia Supporter card. Third time, $60 card. I believe last time I saw, or I pulled it like a week ago, Guzzlord, Magnezone, and a GX card. I, Reshram, I am in shock right now. Well, still got six packs to go, everybody. Don't forget to leave a little like if you are enjoying the video so far. I know this video was posted later than my usual 1 p.m. time today. It's just because, you know, I'm filming it the same day, Leaf. So maybe I'll try to, whoa! I've been doing that a lot lately. Cards have just been falling left and right. All right, so I'm going through this one a little bit faster just because I spilled it everywhere, so. All right, so Swampert, non imagine if there was like a secret rare or Equaza or something in that, oh boy. All right, so uh, I need to calm down. We just need to calm down, everything is okay. Four cards, I'll say fire. Fairy energy. Netball, Kecleon, Sightseer, Hopip, Carbink, Blitzel, Onyx, Spinnerarch, 
Ente Reverse Rare and Beautifly. But that is a beautiful card. See what I did there? Okay, I'll just move on to the next pack. All right. Rayquaza. Seeing that card over there. I can't believe we pulled the Cynthia again. That's just incredible. Fire. If I say fire enough times, you'll pull it. Lifer. We pulled that secret rare. Hey. Uh, Sableye. Bagons be Bagons. Bellsprout. Fanfi. Clam Pearl. Registeel. Oh, very nice. All right. So we got three packs remaining. Got a Blacephalon. Lost Thunder pack. Still a chance to make this opening even more incredible with a hyper rare. I'll say fire again. All right, Dark Energy. We haven't had that in a while. Trumbeak. Pupitar. A lamp. Natu! How do you do? This is incredible. We are doing so well in today's video. Oh, I am so happy. Secret rares left and right. A shiny Cynthia. And a Tapu Coco. Holographic card. All right. Kind of seems like I went from like here to there when I pulled that, but trust me, I'm very happy about getting a Tapu Coco Hollow. I am. All right, Celestial Storm, last pack, or second to last pack, I might ask say. I'll say Psychic. All right, we got a Metal Energy, Beast Ball, Rainbow Brush, Tropius, Whalmer, Spinner Arc, Larvitar, Slack Off, the Love Disc, Torchic, and a Grumpig. Non holographic rare. Next up, last pack. Just got to show you all these. Full Art Cynthia. We got Prism Star Hollow in the Secret Rare Life Herb. This has been a magical opening. Absolutely magical. And I appreciate the support. Let's get some last pack magic. Psychic. Yes! This is going really well. I never get the last one. Significance, absolutely zero. But it's still really cool and it makes me happy. So that's what it's about. Chansey, Trico, Pick a Peck. Oh, a Celebi Prism Star. My favorite Prism Star of all time. Because it's Celebi and it's green and it looks cool. And an Alolan Ninetales GX. What a way to end this opening. This is an incredible way to end this. An Alolan Ninetales GX Ultra Rare Celebi Prism Star Cynthia Lifer Heart Squad. I forgot what this video was even about because the pools have been that good. Thank y'all so much for the support. My name is Lean Hearts. Stay awesome, stay positive, and as always, I will see y'all in the next video.